Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Jayla. If you're new here, and if you're not new here, hey girl, welcome back, girl. All that good stuff. So, um, it has been a little minute, y'all. Um, I haven't posted a vlog in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, this should be going up sometime next week. Hold on, y'all, cause okay. So I just went and cleared some space on my SD cards. So that's all we could check. So yeah, like I said, it's been a little minute um, since I've recorded anything um, and since I've uploaded. So I was like, you know what? Today, we picking up the camera. I look a mess. Nothing is really like, I'm not really prepared for this, but I'm never going to grow on here if I don't stay consistent and do what I got to do. So it is September 8th. Um, it's just a Thursday. I always end up vlogging later in the week i don't know why i just can't get with the monday because i don't be prepared by monday so later in the week so anyways so yeah i'm gonna vlog probably this weekend um this is gonna be just a regular vlog it's gonna be some work stuff in here all that good stuff and it's gonna be some fun stuff too so um what was i gonna say so yeah we're about to work on a wig um, we have a restart tomorrow i'm working i have all my other units completed i just have one wig i need to complete and another wig i need to curl and then um i'm trying to figure out i have another <clears throat> 30 inch now i'm trying to figure out if i want to leave it the way it is or if i want to dye her jet black and i'm really leaning towards the jet black but if i'm going to do that i need to do it today so we need to get to work um i literally have so much to do it's like, I don't even know where to start. And I just want to go lay down because it's overwhelming how much stuff I have to do. But I can't go lay down because if I do, nothing's going to get done. So, um, we're about to work on that wig. It's still a little bit wet. Um, so, we're going to let it dry. I'm going to put the dryer on it and do the towel trick so it can dry. And then while that's happening, I'm probably going to start curling the other wig, take pictures. And then, yeah. So... Let's get started. I today it's for right day excuse me first off excuse how i look um i look much much better later on but i just wanted to hop on and update y'all so last time y'all saw me i was working on the goddess the vanity that's the one with the um two blonde streaks in the front and then the blonde tips so she's completed i'll insert hey, hold on i'm gonna show y'all so this is her on my little thing that um my little clothing rack so you can't really see but she turned out very very pretty i added i added some layers um oh lord that's trying to take me out i added some layers hold on um and some loose curls it turned out gorgeous so i'm gonna insert pictures on the screen right here so y'all can see how she looked um and then I just curled Goddess Nikki. So this is a unit that I already had. But I just won't fill in her. Like I posted her as she was when I first did her. It's just like a blunt cut bob. But I personally wasn't feeling it. So I decided to revamp her and add these like wave, wavy curls. So they were supposed to be more like the beach waves. But they turned out a little bit curlier than beach waves. But I did the straight ends. And baby, baby, so gorgeous. So I definitely think she's going to sell quick this week. So I just posted some pictures of her and we're getting some good feedback. 
So I'm really excited about that. So she's going to go up in a minute. Well, at 5 2. And then I also have a my 30 inch. I revamped her as well because I don't know, like, I feel like my last restock, I kind of was rushing. Like, I was doing so many different things at once because we were also launching the website that I wasn't able to really, like, do what I needed to do for my wigs. Like, not do what I needed to do because I did what I needed to do, but I wasn't in love. Like, I didn't love every single unit. This week, I feel like I love the way these wigs are coming out. So, I'm right now, I'm two for two. I mean, two for three. So, we're going to try to go three for three. My 30 inch is the blow drying because I um, dyed her jet black. We're going to go classic. Jet back, middle part, bust down. Can't go wrong. So, we're going to do that to her today. And then, we're going to upload everything at five. I need to talk to my sister and see if her units will be ready by five. Um, Let me see. Let me text her really quick my wig still has a little bit to go as far as blow drying so we're going to um i'm gonna go shower I'm gonna wash my hair and um by then hopefully the wig will be done uh, i'm gonna wash my hair blow dry it out real good because i have to straighten it and i have to insert i'm putting in my tape ends again so um for this weekend because tomorrow i'm going to a dinner and um i really want my tape ends back i miss them they were really cute easy easy maintenance so i'm gonna try to do my silk press myself and i'm nervous but i've been watching some really good videos um and if this works shout out to shun cook because she's the one who taught me <laughs> so um yeah that's what i'm about to do so i will see y'all I think I'm going to do a little montage of me in the shower. Me washing my hair and stuff. So yeah, y'all might see that. And then I might do a little bit of me inserting the tape-ins as well. So I don't know. We'll see when I pick the camera back up. But I won't be looking like this all weekend. So thank the Lord for that. But yeah, I'm going to um, do that stuff and then get back in here and finish up. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm a shower and then I'm a complete Keisha, which is the um, 30 inch. So I'm gonna show y'all a little trick if you need to blow dry your hair quickly, your wig quickly. So what you do is you get a towel, put the wig in it, put, oh, put the blow dryer, put your hair, and then fold it over. And it kind of like conceals the heat into one area so that it's not just blowing outward and it keeps the heat on the hair so that it'll dry quicker. That wig was soaking wet and it's already probably about 50% dry and it's been maybe 20 minutes instead of me hand blow drying it. That's going to take forever. So yeah, y'all, I just wanted to tell y'all that and then yeah, I'm about to shower. All right, y'all, it is 2.43, so it's a little bit later. Um, I've already showered, washed my hair, and then I just went and blow dried it. <clears throat> and um, I tried to get it as straight as I could with the blow dryer. I think I did pretty, pretty good. I'm going to go over it one more time. And um, just to make sure it's as like, straight as I can possibly get it. And then we're going to go ahead and do the silk press. And then we are about to attempt this silk press child and i'm nervous real nervous <laughs> because i've done silk, tried silk press so many times and they've just never gotten as like flat as i need them to be and the hair that i'm using i forgot i had juice on the hair that i'm using is um straight hair so i needed to get <clears throat> I need to bone straight so it can um blend, you know. So yeah, um, trying to figure out where I can perp, perp y'all up at. Let's see. Yeah, that's what um, I'm about to do. So I have my blow dryer. I have a small like half inch or one inch um flat iron, and then I have my bigger flat iron. I have some heat protectant. Um, a little bit of bio silk and then I have my Sebastian Plus. I saw, I use this with my wigs, but I saw my um, 
<clears throat> my hairstylist used when she gave me a silk press last time so yeah i'm gonna just go over it with the blow dryer one more time and i also saw shun um that's the video i mean that's the person whose video i was referencing referencing for my silk press she went over her hair with the brush and then she went over it with a fine tooth comb which i thought was really smart so that's what i've been doing and as you can see my hair can just but see it's a couple spots it's like right there it's a little tight and I need it to be seamless, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna go back over it one more time with the blow dryer. Go outside. Big time forward. The star boy dancer. Get me to the game, no one replace me. Me love my energy, strip me no chaser. All of my guys know me, all about me paper. Me got me girls all around me, me no chaser. Yeah, star boy got me number one. Buy me two, drop the girls that bounce all along. You know, like nothing got between me and me paper. So when me come in, I place me on that take. Okay, that was scary but y'all I'm about to do my brows um, I'm still using my Anastasia but I felt that I've learned that going ahead and cover my brows out first causes me to not use as much product which a saves product but B gives me a more natural looking brow Do that. We are going 
going to how are we doing on time 4 31 okay 45 minutes to go i'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face This is also black ratings, like literally. I didn't realize how many black ratings products I had, but she don't do me wrong. So, set underneath my eyes with the air spun. I don't even know which color this is, but I literally only use a little bit right underneath my eyes. You got to drench your face, baby. Drench. And make sure you blend in your neck and your ears, y'all. All right, y'all. So I decided to voice over this part because um, after this, it's a, it's another part that I just kind of want to explain because I didn't get to record anything. My camera died, so this right here is being filmed on my phone, and then my phone died. So, anyways, literally, I decided to do clip-ins instead of my tape-ins, and then this is how they came out. And then this very next clip is a dinner and my boyfriend's cousin got proposed to. So here this is. It was so, so, so nice. It was so sweet. Um, and I just wanted to put this in the video because this is what I was preparing for, getting dressed for. It was such a nice dinner and it was just so exciting to see. So congratulations to them. And yeah, I just wanted y'all to see this part. It was so freaking cute.